Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be looking at the 2003 free response questions, and we're going to start with number one here. So let R be the shaded region bounded by the graphs y equals square root of x, and E equals E to the negative 3x. Okay, and the vertical line x equals 1, as shown in the figure above. Find the area of R. Well, my representative rectangle is going to look like something like this, okay? And I want to find the area of that rectangle, and I want to sum up the rectangles. Well, so the area of this rectangle is the this y value. Uh, if I look at this rectangle, as a width dx, um, it's the difference in the heights is the, the, the height of this rectangle, the difference between the top and the bottom curve. So this height is... Um, square root of x minus e to the minus 3x. Okay, that's the height of this rectangle. So the area of this rectangle is square root of x minus e to the minus 3x dx. It's the width of the rectangle times the height of the rectangle. And then I want to sum all those rectangles from this point to x equals 1. Now, to find this point, I have to know where these two are intersecting at, right? Because it doesn't give me on the graph. Um, so I need to know where the square root of x is equal to e to the minus 3x. That is how I can find the intersection. So um, there's no um, way to analytically solve an equation like this. Uh, so you could numerically do it or you could plot it. So I'm going to plot the two graphs, square root of x and uh, e to the minus 3x and graph it. And I'm going to zoom a little bit here, um, or let's see, window. Window is what I'm going to do. I can go from 0 to 1 is good. The minimum is 0 and go up to, say, also 1. So graph that. All right, perfect. So I have that shape. And now I want to calculate intersection. So that's intersect. Uh, first curve, second curve. It doesn't matter what the guess is. There's only one intersection point. So this is x equals 0.2387. Okay. So now I want to do the area of this. I want to compute this integral. And I can use a calculator. You can actually do this integral by hand. But um, I will show you just how to do the calculation on here. It's, it never hurts to do this. Okay, what function are we doing? We're doing the square root of x, square root of x, minus e to the minus 3x. Okay, I'm integrating the variable x and I'm going from 0.2387 all the way up to 1. And that is 0.4426. So that's the area of R. Now find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved around the horizontal line, y equals 1. So now we're going to draw a line, say here. And we're going to revolve this rect, and we're going to use the same thing. We're just going to revolve this rectangle around this axis. What that's going to do is when I sweep this out, it's going to create a disk. Okay, Because if I think of this rectangle and it revolves around some axis like this, it's going to sweep out a disk. So I always draw the disk. I try not to memorize formulas. I always draw the disk. Uh, that was a terrible disk. But let's let's try to draw it out. So I have this rectangle here. Okay. And it's going to draw the disk. Oops. Let's draw another rectangle on this side, the same length. And we're going to do this, and then this, this, this. Okay, and so there's some thickness in here. Now, the volume of this disk, if you think about it, it's, it's the thickness of the disk times the area. So the thickness is dx. The area of this is the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. Now, um, the, the, so I do, usually do big R pi times big R squared minus little r squared. Because the reason you're doing squaring and then the differing is you're really doing pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. 
that's the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. And then I'm multiplying all of that by the thickness to get to the volume. Now big R is the distance from where the center of the, the circle all the way to the end point. And so in that case, big R is going to be this distance right here, from here all the way down to there. Okay, it's the distance from the center all the way down to the end point here. Now that distance is just the difference in the y values, 1 minus um, uh, e to the minus 3x. So big R is equal to 1 minus e to the minus 3x. Little r is this distance. It's the distance from the line of the axis of rotation to where the bottom point of this curve, right? It's the inner radius of the disk that sweeps out. So that's 1 minus square root of x. It's this y, because what's, what's this distance? It's this y value minus this y value. This y value is 1. This y value is square root of x. OK, so then basically we have it all set up. It's the, it's, um, the integral pi times 1 minus e to the minus 3x squared minus 1 minus square root of x squared dx. And so this is the volume of each one of the disks. We're adding up all the disks from x equals 0.2387 all the way to 1. All right, so math, I think it's 9. Yep. So I'm going to do... We'll do all of it. Pi times 1 minus e to the minus 3x squared minus 1 minus second square root of x squared, close parentheses, comma. We're integrating over the variable x, and we're going from 0.2387 all the way to 1. And this gives me 1.424. Okay, the region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-sectional perpendicular x-axis is a rectangle whose height is five times the length of its base in region R. Find the volume of this solid. Okay, so now this rectangle, this this my representative rectangle, I'm going to draw it kind of in so maybe a little bit of a sketch here. This is dx. The length of this here is. Um, square root of x minus e to the minus 3x. And then now they're saying they're going to make it into a rectangle like this. Uh, straight. So it's going to make this sort of rectangular prism, right? And the height here of this is 5 times square root of x minus e to the minus 3x. So what's the volume of this little rectangular prism is length with height. It's 5 times square root of x minus e to the minus 3x times this. So we just square it times dx. I'm going to integrate this from, I'm going to add up all of these little rectangular prisms from there to there. Okay, so math. Let's find the calculator ones take longer because i got to do all this entry in. So we're going to do 5 times square root of x minus, oops, I need to close parentheses, minus e to the minus 3x, minus 3x, we'll let that squared, integrating over the variable x, and we're going from 0.2387 all the way to 1. And I get 1.554. Okay. So let's see how the solutions look for this one. 0.442443, is that what I got? Yeah, 44, yep. Uh, and then 1.423 or 1.424, 1.424 is what I got. And then here, uh, volume is 1.554. That's what I got too. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.